Hey guys, welcome back. In case you're seeing me for the first time, my name's Jenny. I make beauty, lifestyle content, and vlogs. Welcome, 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 welcome to my channel. If you're returning to my channel, welcome back. It's so great to have you here again. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about skincare. Over the last two weeks or so, I've tried six top-rated Korean skincare products. So these products are currently ranked very high between the first and tenth places in each product category on Huahe, which is one of the biggest beauty product review and e-commerce mobile platforms here in Korea. So local Koreans often refer to this app for product analysis and user reviews to make purchase decisions and there are 5.8 million reviews on this app and counting. So yeah, it's a huge and very up-to-date platform and I love using this app to get the latest information on K-beauty products. So anyways, like I said earlier, I picked six top-rated products on this app and tried them for about two weeks to share my honest opinions with you guys. Also, I'm going to share my current favorite skincare routine using these products that you might want to also consider or incorporate. So make sure to stay till the end of the video for that. By the way, before we start, I think it'll be useful to mention that I have dry skin um, pretty much all year round, but in super hot and humid summer like here in Korea, um, my skin becomes more like a combination type with the T-zone being more oily than the rest of my face. But in winter, my skin is just dry, really dry, like desert. Also, just a little disclaimer that I'm not a dermatologist, so what I'll be saying in this video is basically um, based on my own experience and knowledge that I've gained over the years reading different articles and doing online research and using different products. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so these are the six best of key beauty products we'll be reviewing today. Okay, so the first product we're going to talk about is the Simple Calming Toner by Sinic. On Huahe, this toner is currently ranked number 5 out of all toners on the app with 4.31 stars out of 5, averaging over more than 10k user reviews. It's free of the 20 ingredients to avoid, as well as commonly known allergens. So this toner has a very runny, watery, light consistency with no fragrance. It's not sticky in any way and super easy to layer. My skin feels immediately hydrated and supple after application. What I like most about this toner is that it's pH balanced, super gentle and soothing. It's had no irritation on my skin whatsoever, even on my red, dry, inflamed spots thanks to the soothing and healing ingredients like madecasicide, water lily and aloe vera extract. So here is my conclusion. So this product has such a simple, non-irritating, hydrating, lightweight formula, and it's great for all skin types, including sensitive skin. It's great to layer multiple times for extra hydration using the end skin method. And I would definitely recommend this product to anyone really, but especially K-beauty beginners or people with sensitive skin as an everyday skincare essential. I would definitely keep this product in my skincare collection. Next, let's talk about the Simple Daily Lotion by Sinic. It's from the same line as the toner and is currently ranked number 1 in the lotion category on Huahe. It has 4.29 out of 5 stars with over 12k real user reviews. Wow! This lotion has a consistency that's thinner than a cream product. It's very moisturizing yet lightweight. Just like the toner, it's never irritated my skin whatsoever, even on my red, dry, sensitive spots. It's pH balanced, goes on very smoothly, and absorbs easily, leaving no sticky or greasy feeling. It's not scented either. Like the toner, the main ingredients in this lotion are metacusticide, water lily extract, and aloe vera leaf extract for hydrating, healing, calming, and cooling effects. I feel like for oily skin, this would be a really great basic moisturizer, but for my dry skin, one layer of this product alone isn't quite enough, especially during the cold, dry winter season. 
To make it work for my dry skin, I layer the product a few times or use it with other boosters like a moisturizing serum, ampule, um, or a facial oil product or another cream. But in summer, I think it could work for my skin as well, especially when it's really humid out. One thing I personally don't like about this product is the packaging. It's just in a bottle with a small hole at the top like the toner, so I have to shake it to force the product out. I would really love like a pump dispenser instead. Okay, so here's my conclusion. It's a great lotion for all skin types including sensitive skin. For dry to very dry skin, supplement with other booster products. It's an affordable yet solid, effective, and clean product. Just like the toner, I would recommend it to anyone including K-beauty beginners or people with sensitive skin as an everyday skincare item. One downside is the packaging. Um, it would be nicer to have a pump dispenser for better control of the amount and hygiene. Next is the Cream Skin Refiner by Laneige. This toner is ranked number 10 on Huahe in the toner category. It has over 4,500 real user reviews, averaging 4.23 stars out of 5. It's free of any toxic chemicals and potential allergens. Ugh, I love the design of this bottle and the matte finish. So this toner has a creamy looking milky color and a pretty watery runny consistency. It's fragrance free. I love how this toner makes my skin feel right after application. It feels silky smooth yet plump and elastic at the same time like mochi. It's gentle, non-irritating and very very moisturizing which is perfect for dry skin and climate. It soothes dry patches and gives such a nice glow and radiance to the skin which I love. I feel like it might be a little bit too heavy for oily skin or hot climates, especially if used with other products. So finding the balance would be important. This toner is made with cream blending technology by melting and mixing in a whole jar of moisturizing cream into the toner. Also, it contains white leaf tea water to strengthen the skin barrier and support lasting hydration. Okay, so here is my verdict. This toner is very effective for dry, sensitive skin. It's helped to heal my dry patches around the mouth and chin area from everyday mask wearing. It's suitable for colder, drier climates. And it's great to use as a toner mask by soaking a couple of cotton pads with the toner and putting it on the face for about 2 minutes. Also, you can use it as a facial mist in a spray bottle for whenever the skin feels taut. However, it might feel a little bit too heavy for oily skin, especially when used with other moisturizing products. Okay, next is the first spray serum by Dalba. This serum mist is currently ranked number 3 in the mist category on Huahe with over 1700 reviews, averaging 4.11 out of 5. However, as you can see, it has one of the 20 major cosmetic ingredients to avoid and four commonly known potential allergens that are related to fragrance. So if you're allergic to any of these, you should avoid using this product to be safe. So this serum mist is in a plastic bottle with a layer of oil sitting on top of water-based solution. The spray nozzle works well and the mist is dispersed finely and evenly which is important. So this product acts as an all-in-one skincare product to provide moisturizing, brightening as well as anti-aging effects. It's formulated with white truffle extract, avocado oil and other plant-based oils to provide lasting hydration and deep nourishment. It's been tested for sensitive skin as well. In Korea, this mist is known as the flight attendant mist, helping them protect, nourish, and maintain their beautiful complexions even in the very drying cabin environment. Although it contains many types of oil, I find it very light and quickly absorbing while leaving a healthy glow, which I'm all about. It doesn't leave any sticky or greasy residue and has a soft, refreshing scent. So here is my verdict. 
it's a beautiful, convenient, and super versatile product that can be used pretty much anytime the skin feels tight, dull, or dry, or incorporated at different stages in a skincare routine depending on how and what other products are being used, I would say. Dalba suggests quickly spritzing it immediately after washing the face or getting out of the shower. It's to prevent sudden loss of oil and moisture, relieve dehydration, and maintain skin balance. Also, I love using it after finishing my makeup. However, I haven't seen noticeable anti-aging effects yet, and it does contain four fragrance-related allergens. Okay, next up, Brown Lab Birch Juice Moisturizing Cream. It's number three on Huahe at the moment in the cream category. It has over 9,000 reviews with an average rating of 4.32 out of 5. It's free of any of the 20 toxic ingredients and allergens. This cream is formulated with Inje Birch Tree Extract and Vita Hyaluronic Acid for ultra deep and lasting hydration. It's a super hydrating and gentle cream that's suitable for most skin types. It's like hydration explosion on my face when I put this stuff on, but after massaging it into the skin, it doesn't feel heavy at all, which is why I think it's good for oily skin and acne prone skin as well. During winter, a lot of creams are not moisturizing enough for my skin, but I feel like this one provides sufficient and lasting moisture until the next morning when I put it on at night with my other regular skincare products. I feel like this alone is not enough in winter for dry skin though. One thing I personally don't like very much about this cream is that there are these micro beads that are supposed to burst as I apply the cream and I find this makes me rub more vigorously and for a longer time because some beads would not blend quickly and be left on my face. Other than that, it goes on very smoothly. Okay, so here is my verdict. It's a beautiful cream that provides lasting moisture and hydration without feeling greasy or heavy at all. It's great for all skin types including sensitive skin and acne prone skin. For dry to very dry skin or harsh climates, supplement with a facial oil or other moisturizing boosters. It's very affordable for the amount, but one downside is that the microbeads in the cream require more effort to massage in. Okay, next we've got the Cosarex Green Hero Calming Pads. This product is number two in the toner pads category as well as the scrub peel category. It's got over 2,000 reviews with an average rating of 4.23 stars out of 5. However, it looks like it has two fragrance-related allergens, so make sure you're not allergic to these ingredients. So there are 70 toner pads in this jar, and I usually just need one pad at a time. Each side of the pad is embossed differently, with one side being more exfoliating and the other being more soft and hydrating. Use whichever side you want or both, depending on how your skin feels. This product is packed with PHA and plant-based green RX complex, including green tea leaf water, Centella asiatica extract, and tea tree leaf extract to improve skin texture while soothing, hydrating, and alleviating sensitivity. Also, it's pH balanced and it has a very mild citrusy refreshing scent. It doesn't leave any greasiness or stickiness whatsoever. You can use it in many different ways, but I have two main ways I really enjoy using. The first way is using the pads as mini sheet masks. Put the pads on any irritated, inflamed, or red areas for about 10 minutes to soothe, hydrate, and cool down these areas. Storing the pads in the fridge beforehand is also a great idea. Gently wipe and pat the face with any leftover product for complete absorption. 
The second way is in the beginning of a skincare routine, gently wipe the face and neck with the toner pad to remove dead skin, excess oil, or any makeup or cleanser residue to even out the skin texture, prep and prime for the next skincare steps. I don't do this every day, but every three days or so to get gentle exfoliation and soothing effects. Oh, and these pads are awesome to use before makeup as well to even out the skin texture and ensure all impurities are removed. It contributes to achieving an easy application and a porcelain smooth appearance of base makeup products. Okay, my conclusion. This product is great for all skin types including sensitive skin and it is so refreshing and soothing yet effective in removing the skin cells, um, excess oil, and any residue. I noticed that it reduced redness on my face right after use. Personally, I prefer layering another toner in winter like the Laneige Cream Skin after using the pad for extra hydration. This is not an absolute essential, but a wonderful item to have in the skincare collection. However, it does have two fragrance-related allergens. So now that I've shared all the facts and my tips and honest opinions with you guys, I want to share this quick skincare routine that I've created using these products. If you're just beginning your K-beauty journey, this routine could be your starting point. Or if you're just looking for a new skincare routine, this could also help you out as well. Okay, so these are my recommended steps. First, start with the Cosarex Calming Pad, but you don't need to do this every day. I do this every three days or so, but stick with whatever frequency that works for you. And then use the Laneige Toner or a Cyanic Toner or even both, depending on your skin type. And then spritz some of the White Truffle First Ray Serum by Dalba. And then put on the Cyanic Lotion or um, the Round Lab Birch Juice Cream or both to moisturize. And then spray some more of the Dalba First Spray Serum to finish off the routine and seal in all the goodies, but this step is completely optional. After these skin pampering products are all absorbed and locked in, your skin will be happy, supple, radiant, and deeply hydrated. To make the routine more customized to target specific skin concerns, I would suggest adding an appropriate serum or two at the serum step. Additionally, for dry skin, it could be beneficial to add a facial oil at the very end. Okay guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. I had a lot of fun testing out these products and as you can probably tell, I really love all of these products. If you guys have tried any of these products, let me know in the comments how they work for you. And if you haven't tried any, let me know which product that you would like to try the most. If you enjoy this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so, so, so much for watching this far. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Annyeong!